Hey guys, today I am talking a little bit more about minimalism and how I try to be more of a conscious consumer and how I myself have come to own less and less things. I have a video up from a long time ago about why I am a minimalist or why I consider myself a minimalist and before any minimalist video I always have the disclaimer of no, I don't own only 30 things. Minimalism isn't about owning the smallest amount of things that you possibly can to be alive. To me and to a lot of people, it's more about owning things that are useful to you, not owning just a bunch of things just for the hell of it, and releasing yourself from this attachment to objects and realizing that they really are just objects and nothing will happen to you if you don't have them anymore. And I mean that in the way of I try not to be so overly attached to something that if in some way I were to lose it, I would be fine psychologically, I would recognize that it was just an object because I know that we're sort of fed into this trap that you need more things and better things and your life would essentially be a disaster if you didn't have them. So without further ado, let me just talk a little bit about how I minimize. So. Over the last few months, I moved out of my parents' house. I now live in an apartment with my boyfriend, and I have taken on a lot more things because I am now, instead of just filling a bedroom, I am filling a full apartment. I am still buying things with the same mindset as before. So basically, if we need something, and I mean, like, actually need it. Doing something in certain ways either is just such a hassle that it's negatively impacting our lives or that we physically cannot do something without something else, then yes, I will go buy it. But I'm trying to first look at the situation as, do we actually need this thing? The next thing that I'll look at is I want to get something that will function in more ways than one, that I can use for more than one scenario. So recently I got a new job and the dress code is business casual and I don't really own a lot of business casual things. I own a lot of casual casual things. So I needed to buy a couple more outfits to suit that new situation in my life. But when I'm buying these clothes, I want to make sure that it's not just something that I could only only wear for work, but that it's something that will be applicable to other aspects of my life. So clothing that I do truly enjoy and feel that I could wear it to work, but then I feel like I could just wear it on a Tuesday going grocery shopping, like going somewhere or doing something other than strictly work. That is not something that I believe in or just the one use items. And the clothing that I've gotten recently is all from like the thrift store or thread up something along those lines so that, again I'm not contributing to fast fashion or anything like that that I don't want to be contributing to under my own definition of minimalism because another thing that is I just don't want to buy so much so that I'm not contributing negatively to um, the planet and to these industries and all that other sort of icky things that I don't really want to be a part of. As just another example I was at the thrift store somewhat recently and I needed like a pie pan kind of a thing because I make a lot of quiches. I am sort of unable to do so in my house right now because I don't have the pan for it. So I went out specifically looking for one. That's another thing. Going out to buy things with specific intention and not being swayed by things that I see in the moment that I think that I'm going to like when I bring them home because I probably won't because I haven't been thinking about them in the long run in terms of actually needing one. So I go in with a specific purpose. I went in to get a pie pan. I did not find a pie pan, but I did find like these mini muffin tins. And I'm thinking I can do the same thing with that that I could with the pie pan, except for now I could also make muffins and cupcakes and other things with it. So it'll be more of a multi-purpose tool because in the end, I could only make quiches with this pan because I'm not someone that makes pies or makes anything else that you would make in that particular container. That's sort of how I rationalize this purchase. And again, it was from a thrift store, so secondhand, no carbon footprint. Seemed like a pretty sound purchase to me. And actually, in an upcoming video, I'm going to be testing out this little muffin pan making my famous quiche recipe. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Okay, so as far as getting rid of things to become more minimal, let's say you own too many things in your own mind and you want to just purge a lot of your stuff, uh, I definitely recommend this. It not only clears your space physically, it clears your space 
emotionally. It just feels good to have less things cluttering your house and cluttering your mind. I am someone that came from a background of owning too, 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 too many things and basically anything that anyone would ever just hand me, I would keep forever. I hope I can find some pictures and insert them uh, here so you can see like what my room used to look like and how many things I used to own. And I did have a, a video a couple years ago about me minimizing my room even further, but it started way worse than even that. Basically, I do get this feeling ever so often just a little bit stressed, a little bit overwhelmed that I own too many things. So I will go through each thing. And again, let, let's apply this to my wardrobe because I feel like that's what most people are looking to minimize. They think, oh, I have so many clothes and nothing to wear, you know? So I will go through my clothes and I will say, you know, have I worn this in the last year? What occasions can I wear this thing for? And you know, the whole like, does this item bring me joy? Do I feel good wearing this? Do I need it? Do I need it? And then I will generally sort each item into like a full like, yes, I need it. I love it. I feel good wearing it. I can wear it to all these different things. Or no, I'm just not feeling this piece of clothing anymore. And then Sometimes there's a maybe that like, I just really don't want to let go of this particular thing, but I just, I haven't worn it. I just, I feel like I will though. So what I do with these maybe items is I put them somewhere where I am not seeing them on a daily basis. And if it's closed, maybe you can fold some stuff up and put it in a box and put that at the top of your closet. And if you find yourself going in that box and getting the stuff out, then there's your answer you keep those things they clearly do benefit you if however you do not touch these things and like a month or two months or something passes and you still don't wear these clothes that you were certain that you're gonna wear then there's your answer again feel free to get rid of those things because clearly you didn't actually want them and again that this is all based on personal preference if you want that extended maybe time to be like a year instead to give you a better answer that's that makes total sense. All these things are completely personalized, completely individual, and you don't have to live like this at all if you don't want to. I'm just saying that personally, being on both sides of this spectrum, that I'm way happier now owning less things and giving things away, donating things, uh, minimizing, it feels so good to me. I do fall into that thing that everybody does basically now we're sort of trained to that when you buy a new object you're like excited about it and the thrill of like of the find or buying something relatively inexpensive and feeling like you got a good steal on it and just having a new item is so exciting i totally understand that i totally get that what trumps that in my mind is getting rid of something that I feel that I no longer need anymore and getting that freed up space. I get that same feeling and sometimes even more of an, like, an intense version of that feeling. I'm just so excited. And yeah, how I dispose of things is I 99% of the time donate it. Before I donate, I always offer things to my friends and family first and if they don't want it, then it goes to like Goodwill or one of those donation bins that are in parking lots. Like there's lots of different ways. Honestly, the very last thing on my mind is fully throwing it away. I always try to like recycle it first. I also don't own that many things that are flat out trash at this point because I do try to buy a more sustainable, eco-friendly way. But yeah, just as a side note, I mean, I, I watch a lot of those. I watch a lot of hoarders. That's not really what this is about, but I do watch that and I watch like the Marie Kondo show and things like that and people are just mainly throwing just tons of stuff away and that doesn't really sit right with me. Um, I wish more things were donated, you know, so that someone else could get yeast out of them and it doesn't go straight to landfill. So I would count that as a tip. Donate something, it might actually just make you feel better and then you'll be inclined to get rid of more things with the intention of donating them and knowing that someone else is gonna get another life out of them. Lastly, I guess I wanted to add, and then you, you can count this as a minimalism tip or not, but when I do go out and buy something these days, I, I wanna get something that is more sturdy, I guess for lack of a better term, is I wanna get something that I don't have to buy over and over and over again. 99% of the time that is the more sustainable, low waste, option to do as well so if i don't want to buy cotton pads or something over and over again personally i think i have a video about this too 
is I had like an old dish towel and I cut it up and surged the edges of it so I have like these reusable cotton pads that I can wash and use again. So I am physically buying less, I am owning less, and I am doing more for like the planet and for my wallet. I think that's a good tip. If that's, if anything else, if you really don't like care about being minimalist, I'm sure that you care about saving money. So if you are minimalist, and you are buying less inherently, you're spending less money. And maybe you can roll the money that you save into things that are more worthwhile or like experiences, all sorts of things. And the very last thing that I'm gonna say is just being realistic, being honest with yourself. When you go see something in a store and you say, oh, I love this, I would wear it to XYZ or I would use it for XYZ. Are you really, or were you just taken by the object when you saw it, sort of swept away to something that's probably not gonna happen. Just be honest with yourself. Will that object honestly improve the quality of your life? And then same thing, if you see something in your closet and you just love it, or maybe you have some sort of decoration or trinket that never sees the light of day, but you just love it, are you honestly honestly gonna use it again and if the answer is no maybe you can do without it not trying to encourage you to throw away all your belongings definitely not but if you wanted a little bit more insight information tips tricks on how to become more minimalist then i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time like comment subscribe all that good stuff but yeah later guys